Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, October 14th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth for Longmont Public Media. We have a new moon this Saturday, October 16th. So nothing out there to see, but we do have some great planets. Mars just went uh, through what's called opposition, so it's straight opposite the sun in the sky, directly out in the solar system, and as close to us as it would get in this trip around the sun for us. So it's a big, right, red, right, big, bright, red beacon. I just can't talk today. Sorry. All right, let's take a look at drought. Uh, going back to June 25th, we were drought-free in the northern counties of the state, and we had some pretty uh, extreme drought settling in the south. Last week, we had extreme drought on the western half, with a few spots of exceptional drought showing up. And this week, the exceptional drought has grown. Looking na nationally, the long-term drought region extends from central Arizona up through most of uh, Colorado and an expanding area of the west. Last seven days didn't help. Rainfall is completely non-existent, except for a couple spots that uh, really don't matter out in the west. So our setup now is the big ridge in the west has drifted further off to the west. There's a bit of an extension of the ridge uh, across the Rockies and western Rockies. It's just not as strong as it has been. And the airflow is much more zonal, straight west to east. We have, let me back up, sorry, a slightly uh, northwest flow here. It's not due west. And that's going to have implication for our smoke in just a moment. Looking at smoke, Wednesday morning, have the Cameron Peak Fire as the uh, big player. At, with the, go back up again, with these jet stream winds picking up here in an approaching trough, we see winds increasing uh, across the state and especially in the high country. So winds on Wednesday morning have been in the 40, 50 mile an hour region above the timberline, and that is really fanning the flame because by Wednesday night, you can see smoke is back. We have just this complex out here in central California and northern Colorado. All that smoke is pretty much ours that you're breathing out there. So, taking a look at the next 10 days, our average high drops from 66 all the way down to 62 because we're getting close to the end of October. I mean, we are definitely changing seasons. It may not feel like it yet out there, but it's trying to. It does in the morning, at least. 37 for a normal low, down to 33. So our, this is probably a good time to get your sprinklers blown out because we, we see some 20s coming up uh, at the end of the weekend. We have two cold fronts, one coming through on Wednesday is what's kicking all the uh, winds up. Temperatures will drop very significantly into Thursday. We recover just uh, to normal, and then another strong cold front takes us to below normal. We haven't seen temperatures below normal in quite a while, so again, the seasons are beginning to change. We do see a chance of rain on the ensemble here uh, for Saturday night into Sunday morning. Doesn't look outstanding, doesn't look like a significant amount of rain, but it is going to be moisture. Over the next 10 days, we see our first trough on Wednesday coming in. That's bringing the first cold front in. We have stronger northwest flow aloft going into Friday. And to Saturday, here comes another trough digging down in the Pacific Northwest, giving us our Sunday cold front. Going into next week, we have almost north winds so we will definitely be chillier going forward. Taking a look at precipitation for Wednesday, rain and snow rain far north of the state. Going into now Friday, we can see the next system entering into the west, coming down, snow in Montana, Wyoming. Then for Sunday, snow, maybe rain down the front range very briefly, and then it fades out big cold high pressure system pressing down to the central part of the nation. I guess you'd have to watch for some Santa Ana winds out in California with that setup. 
and looking at the temperatures over the next 10 days. Going into Wednesday, you can see the first cold front pushing down, making it all the way down to Mexico and Big Bend area of Texas. We get the recovery going into Saturday with warm, abnormally warm temperatures and then a stronger cold front coming down Sunday. That is significantly below normal, so this is going to be cold. Probably not enough to freeze pipes, but it's just probably a good idea to get it done now. <clears throat> Over the next 10 days, precipitation is very light. A little more up in Wyoming, but just a little bit down the front range. Not enough to really make plants happy. So for this upcoming week, we are abnormally warm on Wednesday, dropping down to below normal Thursday, back to normal Friday and Saturday, with another cool down in the 20s going into the beginning of next week with our chance of precipitation Saturday and Sunday, maybe some nighttime snow, we'll see. For more frequent local news and weather updates, take a look at longmontleader.com. I've been Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth. Keep looking up.